Hello and welcome to a pure first impressions of Obsidian Prince. Obsidian Prince is a tactical turn-based roguelike where choices actually have real consequences. And if you'd like to check it out further, there is a link in the description. Now, this is developed by a studio by Unleash the Draft, by the name of that. And uh, this is actually one of those games that has an astute sense of humor. And I am very, very much looking forward to playing this. So let's create a new campaign. So what is a pure first impressions? Well, basically what that means is that I've never played the game before and I am basing my first impression purely with you so you can form your own opinion and I can form my own opinion and maybe we can collaborate a little bit through the interwebs as they call it and here we go welcome to my inn you look like you're the type of person who'd love to go on adventures but don't know how yes I'll help you with an introduction by allowing you to help me with a tiny rat infestation infestation I conveniently have in my basement great I'll, I'll deal with those rats oh fantastic oh and while you're down there could you investigate what happened to the other adventurers I sent down there to inspect the issue Sure thing. Show me inside your basement. Okay, so that is obviously what I was talking about before when I said it has a very astute sense of humor. Basically, these are... Well, the game is filled with this. It's filled with terrible ja dad jokes that are basically so bad that they go all the way around in a whole 360 degree circle and they become hilariously funny again. You see what I mean? So it doesn't go to, you know, the 180 degree mark. It doesn't go anywhere in between those two points it just goes all the way around and it is indeed funny even though they could be considered bad jokes i feel like they are hilarious anyway let's continue onward inside the tutorial uh-huh hello there all right so here we go these are the basics so basically as you can see camera controls very very easy basic movement click the blue tiles to move click enemies on blue tiles to base attack them red tiles show enemy intent so that basically shows what they're going to do it shows where they're going to move and so forth and as you can see these are <laughs> these are actually rat knights and this is <laughs> rat knight nikki who was apparently an early tech adopter nikki the new the tired new mom okay and elegant eli the tragic or ellie the tragic okay yeah so let's uh, let's move then shall we all right, left click to activate an ability. Click again on a blue widget to use it. This costs energy. I actually have no idea how much energy I have. Is this is, is it this bar right here? Generate energy by base attacking. Okay, so that's kind of interesting actually. Right click to deselect an ability, hover abilities to learn more. All right, so we have charge here and you could see this is my current energy at the moment. So we can charge. That means you can see here that we'll just charge in a straight line. We can do round strike, which is gonna do AOE. Uh, Rat Ariana. We're, pro we're probably wanting to use Round Strike at this point. So let's do that. There we go. Boom. We killed one of the rats already. When the cursor becomes an arrow, you can do a move attack. This often lets you attack without taking damage. Try it now. Okay. Becomes an arrow? Really? Oh, now that's cool. Okay, that is actually super, super cool. Okay. I like it. Let's just continue to do damage and boom, there you go, done. That was super, super easy. And now we have gained a short bow and some glod. Hmm, I'm very pleased to get some glod. Being the only yellow metal, it is therefore considered the cheese of metals. You can bite it, but you shouldn't eat it. Which, it's, it stinks, by the way. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. There's so much of this really amusing text everywhere and i really really appreciate that okay the swirling portal is where you start click on something to explore you can't go back to a room you've already explored by the way this is kind of like a dungeon crawler as well um yeah so you have to plan ahead here click the backpack to view the equipment okay i don't really care too much about equipment at the moment but we should probably go and explore what this actually means anyway click an item to equip it click it again to unequip it changing weapons can give you other weapon other abilities if you want to equip a weapon on the second weapon slot unequip the current one first okay so technically if i want to use the short bow then i have to unequip the wooden rapier and i'm not actually wanting to do that so we're just going to stay with the same loadout that we have and we're then going to go on to the next room all right here we go 
Alright, so these are inspiration cards. They apply temporary changes and are activated passively. Heroes pick new inspiration cards when they level up. Okay, so you can always already see what you need to do to be able to activate these. Okay, so that's good to know. And what is that? That is a slime. Okay, so let's do some damage right there. Boom, that one's dead. I need to repair my armor. Oh no, that is terrible. That is not very good at all. Okay, so let's do... Can I do a... I can do a cleave. Nice. That's going to do some damage, I think. Maybe we can actually do a charge. Can we... Can we actually do the charge? I would like to. Ah, I have to... There, there's the charge. Uh Aha, -huh, I see. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. There we are. And boom. Okay. We, we're, we've actually almost leveled up, which is pretty cool. Let's go on to the key. Because apparently we're going to need a key to be able to get into the boss area, I would assume. Hover over an enemy to see enemy attack zones. Press tab to see all enemy attack zones. That's actually a toggle. That's fantastic. I'm going to leave that on because that's really, really useful in my opinion. Okay, so there's the charge. Unfortunately, not going to be able to utilize that at the moment. So I'm just going to move one step forward. And then we're going to move one step back. And then we're going to charge at this guy. Boom, take him down. And then we're going to take this guy down as well. Nice. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy. I like it. All right, so we have Minor Armor Kit. Gain seven armor, and we got some Glod as well. What does the Minor Armor Kit do? I have no idea. But look at this. We have a huge amount of character skills as well. All right, so let's have a look here. What is this? For every 10, 30, 20% health missing, add one damage. I, it, it's kind of telling that I went for the desperation skill immediately, isn't it? Because let's face it, I'm always going to be low on HP, I think. But let's just take a quick look and see what we can get otherwise. There are a couple of inspirations that we're going to gain at every four skill points spent. So that's actually kind of interesting. This gives you a chance to critical. If you have armor when attacked in melee, return damage. Gain max energy. On damage taken, gain one energy. Every five turns, you add damage to your attacks. Hmm. I don't think that that's that good five turns i mean obviously at the moment we're ending battles very very fast but five turns could go by very quickly so it might actually add up over time gain a 33 percent 66 and 100 percent chance to spread water when doing damage what does that actually mean though aha uh -huh. to set a tile on fire Ooh, that's interesting every time you take damage regenerate one two three armor after three turns I think I'm probably going to be taking that. Yes, I will take that. Select a new inspiration card. Okay, explosive spin. Sounds fun. I didn't even read it because I think that these kinds of games, you don't really want to read too much into these particular abilities that you pick unless it kind of requires it. But I think most of these cards are going to be useful in some way or another and they're going to be fun to use so i personally don't care because i just want to have fun with these for example explosive spin this is what it actually does anyway let, let's just take a look at that in just a second backstory cards like inspiration cards sit in a deck each new room you draw five cards and pick three to keep after big events you always you get a new card they always replace an old card okay so i'm gonna go for uh, good health i suppose and thick skin and potent sounds good to me okay so explosive spin this is what this does the chakram explodes at it at its initial impact doing 30 percent damage in a three by three aoe and it stacks that's actually kind of cool in my opinion i like this yeah i like that quite a bit all right so let's have a look okay so who are we actually fighting right here who's that it's a rat nest uh, okay we might have a little bit of a problem here yes indeed Okay, let's move this way. Going to try and force them to come around here. And I'm going to move back one more. There we go. Ah, being sneaky. Look at that. They are being super, super sneaky right here. Okay, this might be a bit problematic then. Okay. So I can't do anything right now. So I'm going to move this way. There we go. Okay, that's what we want to do. So let's do an attack. Let's do an attack. There we go. And now we're going to be able to make our way over to the rat nest uh gonna have to be a little bit careful though because as you can see there is a red line there which is going to probably kill us can i jump yes i can here we go so let's jump 
There we go. And now, can I jump again? Boom. Going to take a little bit of damage. Only two damage. Not, not bad at all. And let's try and eliminate the rat nest as fast as we can. There we go. Done. And now we have a minor armor kit. So we gain seven armor as well as some gold. And I think, did we level up again? I'm not entirely sure. Don't think so. No, don't think so. Well done, adventurer. I'm quite happy that all those pesky rats are gone. Now all my cheese is safe. And you saved those apprentice adventurers too. Yeah, apparently I did. One of them volunteered to help out. We'll have to train them, though. I mean, they couldn't even kill rats in a basement. How about you set that up? Oh, how nice of them. The innkeeper wants you to train your new recruit. Go ahead and press the manage training button. All right, so here we go. So now, <laughs> as you can see, the game quickly picks up. I like it. All right, so let's hear. Uh, click here to begin training. This guy, I have no idea who this guy is. And I have uh, Pouch Caltrop. That's his name. There we go. He has the, uh, I suppose, the perks or abilities. Thick skin, potent, and he also has a vampiric bloodline. Bewildering, draws aggro from barstools, goes on adventure in the Cave of Pain every other splurge day, and his heroically got out of their bed last moon day. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's select him then. That is hilarious. Wow. Okay, click to select training. So we can go to the inn here. Okay. And then he's going to go and do that. Okay, that's fantastic. Well done. We'll eventually need to build class training facilities as well. You'll want to build something more proficient at killing monsters than a barkeep. Well, that does make sense, doesn't it? You should go explore a bit, maybe find some building materials, talk to the guards, they may have some info for you. Oh, I love exploring. Okay, so here we go. This is obviously the world map, all right? So the world map is pretty big, actually. I can't zoom all the way out, but you can see here that these are all the clouds, and I assume that that is like the fog of war. So you should be able to uh, potentially uncover that. So let's see. Concerned guard. Careful out there. Bandits have been known to lay an ambush on the road ahead. I'm not scared of bandits. Entering the bandit ambush. All right, let's do it. Okay, yeah. Uh, Adventurer Bob. Equipping warrior Adventurer Bob. Okay, yeah. I, I think he's probably going to be the one I'll take. Good to know. Let's do it. Adventurer Bob, let's go. Ah, the dusty peak of unfaithful friends. Ah, hey, here we go. Gotta say, I actually find the aesthetic to be very charming. It's, I, I, I believe, voxel-based with pixel pixel graphics or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, okay. So let's select three backstories right here. So I'm going to go for violence, thick skin, and potent. Sounds fun to me. Okay, so we can jump anytime we want to. Who are these guys? Are these bandits? Yeah, these are the bandits. And we got some more bandits. So it's just me against all of them. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Let's just jump over here. Use a little bit of my energy for that. And let's do... Can I attack? No, can't attack just yet. Okay, let's move back one more. Ah, oh, look at that. He actually used a hook attack against me. Okay, I'm going to try and use cleave if I can. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to use rapier. Boom. Okay, he's going to pull me back. That's absolutely fine, though. No problem at all there. Let's do an attack. Boom, you're dead. Do some more damage. Oh, massive damage right there. Massive damage. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to try and move like this. And then we're going to do a nice little jump. And then a circle spin. Oh, yes. Nice. All right, there we go. We, we got some... Uh, well, we, we completed the room. And we did 49 damage. We took 12 turns, actually. So, yeah, that other ability that I said was probably not going to work out too well, that seems to be quite effective, actually. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we should probably, uh, next time we level up, we should probably do something about it. Anyway, as you can see, the next portion of the map now uncovers itself. And there's a whole bunch of quests that we can do here as well. So let's actually just take a quick look and make sure I haven't really missed anything because there might be some things that we missed. As you can see, you can also build some stuff. So at the moment, I can't afford anything. So I need the schematic, obviously, and I do need some more glod, and I also need wood. So obviously none of these things 
are uh, going to really help me. Your trainee pouch Caltrop has uh, done something apparently, so that's that's quite nice. Is he still training? Yes, he's still training, so that's going to be good. Is there anything else I can do here? Do I need to do anything else? No, that's the training area. Okay, so that means I can just move on and we can just go over here. Bandit hut. This tiny bandit hut is surrounded by stones. Maybe you could grab a few. I'll take just a few stones. Here we go. So let's select uh, Adventurer Bob once again. He's going to go back in there and he's going to show those bandits what for. I'm looking forward to it. And we are once again entering the dusty peak of unfaithful friends. Okay, so I've got to be a little bit more effective this time around in my opinion. So let's actually go for... Mm, let's go for in good health and we'll go for potent twice over. I think that should be quite good. And now... Let's just try and earn a little bit of energy just by moving around a little bit. Okay, he's going to... Oh, that was a mistake, sir. That was a huge, huge mistake. Okay, so... There's the Chakram. Okay, so throw your Chakram at an opponent and catch it as it returns. It bounces once. So let's throw it at... Uh, can we throw it at someone here? Or no? Seems not. Maybe because we're too close. Well, that guy died instantly. That was hilarious. Okay, so let's throw this. Boom. Oh, that was nice. That actually worked out really, really well. I was actually quite surprised about that. Okay, uh, let's do a nice little jump. Oh, nice. That was good. Another attack of opportunity. Oh, yes. <laughs> they basically all just got murdered super super easily right there i like it all right so we basically took no damage whatsoever there and uh we did pretty well i gotta say obviously these are just a very very simple fights at the moment but you can imagine how difficult they're going to become all right so there you go you stuff your pockets with stone then run off before the rest of the bandit gang returns home. Fantastic. Okay, so now we can go over here. We can take a look at his training, obviously. But now we can go over here and we can potentially build a barracks, which I uh, cannot do right now because I actually need wood. Hmm. Yes, I have done a little bit of a mistakey, haven't I? All right, we're going to go and need wood over here. There seems to be plenty of wood. Stealing from bandits isn't really stealing, right? Well, yes, I think probably not. All right, there we go. Let's take Adventurer Bob, and he's going to go and do that once again. The Shady Torture Chamber of Screams. Oh, dear. That might be a bit problematic. Okay, Effortless Swinging in good health, and we're going to go for Ignition. Oh, yeah. That sounds good to me. Okay, so let's do this. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to try and move away from here, because I want them to go on fire if I can. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage right now. Ah. Uh, how do I activate cleave on base attack? Okay, yes, on base attack. Sounds good to me. Nice. That was some good damage right there. My armor is broken, but that's okay. I can do a round strike, take out the rat at least, and then the final enemy will go down. Fantastic. And we got a cute cumber, which flushes when you look at it. Okay. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, that's pretty funny. Okay, so on jump, gain that. Every time you take damage, regenerate armor after three turns. Okay, so what is the other thing? On on taking damage, if you have armor when attacked in melee, return damage. Mm. You had damage to your attacks every five turns. I'm going to take that one, actually. That sounds pretty fun. Spin to win. I will take that new one. And now we can choose to go into the staircase. Can we? No, we can go this way. Down the staircase, shall we say. All right, here we go. I'm going to take violence, thick skin, thick skin. Going to take two of those. Thank you very much. And now we're going to see what we can do. What is this? Okay, I'm going to try and use the chakram again if I can. Eh, it's not going to work. Nice. That was some good damage. Okay, now we're going to spin to win. Round strike, boom. Murdered all those. Murder that guy too. And now we can do a bash, so that's on base attack. Mm, that would be pretty amazing to do, but I don't know whether I can do it. Maybe I can jump on the guy. 
No, unfortunately not. But we did eliminate him almost instantaneously. And we can just kill the rat. Wow, we basically took no damage there whatsoever, which is really nice. And there's a treasure chest. Oh, yes, I could not ask for more. Thank you. A chest. Do I have enough lockpicks? I have no idea. Hopefully I do. Okay, so gain two energy, move away after round striking. That sounds pretty fun. And let's do potent as well. Who's that over there? That might be a bit problematic. Let's let's go over there first. Do I need to use charge? Hmm. I might actually want to go and just charge against this. And then we'll do a nice little round strike. Boom, look at that. Pretty good damage because now we're going to be able to stun this enemy. Uh, apparently I didn't even need to because we're just killing them all in one hit. Okay, I can do a nice jump. Do I need to jump though? Not really. I might be able to charge? No, charge is not going to work either. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, look, they're being sneaky. They're being so sneaky. I'm going to just throw the, the chakram right here. Boom. <laughs> that was fun. All right, let's use the key. And open up the chest. There we go. A door apple. And you thought the cute combo was lovable. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, certainly, certainly. Okay, there we go. That's fantastic. And now we have the wood as well. And this guy has now completed his training. You can change the difficulty whenever you are on the campaign overworld inside the main menu, which you can find at the top right. Once you feel that you've mastered the mechanics of Obsidian Prince and you've become more familiar with the game, we recommend that you play on veteran difficulty. Endless mode is always played on veteran difficulty. There is an endless mode in this game as well, by the way. So there's also that. Anyway, so this guy can now choose a class. So, oh. Can he not? Apparently I don't have a class available for him at the moment, which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe this person has a class. Hi, you look like someone with a talent for hero stuff. I've lost my ten dogs. They ran off with a group of boars and I miss them. Could you bring them back? I guess there's nothing to lose from looking. Okay, so over there, I assume. They seem to want to play with you, or kill you. You suddenly don't feel so sure about this. There, there, little boar. Okay, so we found the dogs. Let's see if we can help out. Go, adventurer Bob. Save those dogs. There we go. Oh my, that's a lot of boar. Okay, let's do heal, let's do restore, let's do plus one damage. Sounds good to me. And now we can do a little a little jump right there. And now we'll Oh, they they do a lot of damage actually. They've got a they've got a lot of HP too. Okay, let's do round strike. Boom. Nice. Okay, I'm going to jump, I think. Ooh, I died. Oh, that was way too... Yeah, see now, that, that that is exactly what I'm talking about. It's a roguelike after all, so obviously that's going, to, that's going to happen. Anyway, I was crushed underfoot by a hunter's pet. Peace activist Maida, who didn't want to support... Uh, who didn't want to support in the found dog's forest. That's where I died. Character backstory. Cries from concepts. Guardian of the light blue. Great caves. And always start Sundays with a healthy serving of successful dragons. Very good. Yes, very good. All right. Adventurer Bob was nearly slain within the found dogs. They have been wounded, giving them the backstory internal bleeding. Fortunately, they managed to save some of the loot. And there we go. We've gotten most of these things. Okay, remove a backstory card to balance the deck. Okay, I will remove roundabout. Wounds are automatically selected when drawn from your backstory deck at the beginning of each room. At the hospital, you can pay to have wounds removed. To replace the wound, you'll get a cool scar. If you haven't discovered the hospital yet, don't worry, you will soon. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, so we can go back there if we want to, which I think we probably do. But let's actually just go and see whether it can. We, we still can't select a class. That's kind of unfortunate. I would have liked to have done that. There's our inventory as well. Oh, well, I guess we might as well get a barracks. Actually, that might be what we need, even. Yes. Recruits learn fast enough to three days. They have already learned enough to pick which class they will become. It's a good idea to look through their backstories before you make that choice, as certain backstories may fit different classes better. Once you've set them in a class training facility, it'll take them another three days to complete their training. Don't worry about training them wrong. You can always just recruit another one. 
All right, so let's actually select Warrior here. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that is half the fun. Okay, let's have a look at what's this guy. A fallen tree has destroyed parts of the road out of town. Can you help? Of course, let me pay those farm hands over there to support it. Uh, sure, to sort it out, that is. There we go. So that opens up another section of the map, which is actually fantastic, because that means that if you think that you're not good enough, or maybe not high enough level, or you just don't think you can handle the other quest, which is the boar quest, of course, then you can just go over here instead, which I very much appreciate. What's this? I'm so glad you made it here. It's time for me to retire, and I need someone to take over the guild. Do you think you have what it takes? It depends. What does it take? And to prove yourself worthy of the Guildmaster title, you'll need to get me three tokens that I've sneakily placed in three dungeons close by. The shadow created by the light from the magical lantern in the Curious Hall, the spark from a lightning mage's lightning, and finally the smell of fermented slime. Why would... Uh, well, uh, okay, I'll collect those, I guess. Alright. Okay, let's do that. That area is under siege. Are you sure you want to go there? Yes. Okay, let's do it. So he's obviously training, the other guy's still training, so we still only have one adventurer, but we're going to have two when he's done. Assault of the King's Men, oh no. Alright, let's do this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take, uh, we're gonna take plus three damage, plus three damage, and then restore armor. Sounds good to me. Okay, so let's move on. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna charge at this guy. Nice damage. Okay, I'm going to do an AoE. Nice. Take out that guy. He's almost done. Nice. There we go. Whew. Okay, now, now, I'm, now I'm getting worried. Whenever we go into a fight, now I'm getting super worried because I think to myself, wow, okay, I might actually die at any moment here because those boars were super, super powerful. Bear in mind that this is not real time, so you can take your time as much as you like. I just prefer to play a little bit faster, and so that was the reason why we actually ended up dying there. But it did give us an opportunity to look at the quote-unquote death system in the game, so I suppose that's pretty good. Anyway, there you go. This guy has, been, uh, has gained the effortless twirling by training as a warrior. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, so where are we now? Okay, so we're over here. Hello, how are you? Oh no! Zombies! An ambush? Alright, so apparently zombies are now attacking. Well, let's deal with them. Where did they come from? I would assume they, uh, they probably came from Zombie Town. But, uh, don't let me, uh, oh wow. I think I might actually be dead. I think I might actually be dead here. Uh, these are... These have a lot of HP. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm worried. Uh, how do I... Uh, can I jump away? Yes, I can. Take him down. Take him down. Uh, take that one down. Okay, I need to use an AoE attack of some kind. There you go. Oh no, I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay, wait, let's, ju let's jump. We don't want to get uh, cornered too much. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to have to use explosive spin here, I think. Nice. Uh, gonna jump away, I think, and then I'll try to use Explosive Spin or Cleave or something along those lines. That seems like a good idea. Let's actually just wait one turn. And that is indeed a victory. Can you believe it? Look at how many enemies there actually were. That's crazy. We didn't get any loot from that, but we did take out all of the zombies. I can't believe it, to be honest. Whew, okay, that was, um, that was pretty harsh. All right, there we go. We've uncovered another section of the map as well, which is really nice to see. And we have a dungeon. This is our first dungeon. You hear weird groaning sounds from the hole and see a magical light flicker in the distance. Definitely seems like something you should investigate. Someone build a uh, someone build a well-like hole in the ground here. Purple goo is oozing from the opening. What is down there, you wonder? 
All right, this is a medium size, so we are maybe going to die. That might be problematic. All right, so we're going to take violence in good health, and we also took the uh, the other thing already, internal bleeding, so that's great. Otherwise, ah, more zombies, I see. Yeah, so this might be bad. Okay, I'm going to try and use chakrams as fast as I can, I think, but we're going to just do some normal attacks as well. There we go. Nice, look at that damage. That's super, super nice. And then we can do round strike, eliminate most of them, I think. And then we'll do another round strike, I think. There we go. We can eliminate those two. And then that one should go down. Unfortunately, my armor has has gone. But we're now leveling up once again, which is really nice. And we also have magic essence, some seal, and some pseudo dust. It's not actually dust. It's just magic enchanted to look like it. And we're going to go for intelligence. Some more intelligence right there. Okay, stun enemies next to the landing position. Sounds like a great... Great card to take, in my opinion. Let's go over here. Oh my. This is, uh, this is maybe a little bit worrying. Okay, let's go for this. Plus one damage, plus one damage. Let's just try and get as much damage out as possible. We're going to see what we can do here. So basically what I want to try to do is I want to get inspiration cards that are actually going to help me take out the last two enemies. So we can bash this guy. That's a stun. And actually heavy jump. I'm going to do heavy jump right now and that stuns the guy. And then we can just hopefully finish him off. Ah, it seems like we did take a little bit of extra damage right there. But that should be okay. Shouldn't be too bad. And now look at this. Look at how many extra areas we have to explore here. This is pretty crazy. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's go for Violence and Tough Hide. And then we'll also have this to restore our energy a little bit more. So we're at maximum energy right now. Let's jump over here, stun this guy. And then hopefully we'll be able to use Chakram. There we go. Nice damage. Mm, I'm going to use Chakram again. Wow, that, that's actually pretty good damage. I think I'm going to die though. Yeah, that is a bit problematic, isn't it? Yes, indeed. There we go. <laughs> All right, he's done. Yeah, I'm going to get another wound card, no doubt. But there you go. Okay, so what did we actually get? They got the... Oh, they got this. The backstory dissociated. When you take damage, lose two energy. Whoa, that's actually pretty crazy. Okay, so my other guy has finally completed his training. Yes, hero complete. Fantastic. So that means I can now use him in any particular situation. So that's actually pretty nice. You received the blueprint for a chakram maker. If this, if this thing doesn't work out, maybe you could glue a couple of scissors together. Hmm, the idea isn't completely without validity. A schematic for a chakram maker. Don't throw it away. <laughs> ah yes, oh yes. Okay, so there's the hospital. So basically what we can do now is we can select Adventurer Bob and then we can basically say, go in here and then we can spend a little bit of cash. The cost to heal one wound on this character is 12. I think I have 13 at the moment, so we're just going to be doing that. And then we can go wherever we want to and we can also build some extra things. Obviously I don't have any gold at the moment, but there's a huge amount more to build. As you can see right here, you can actually build a swordsmith, an alchemist, a gym, an ore converter, an artifact merchant, and a longbow maker. So I think that's probably gonna be it for this pure first impressions. I would probably say that I would definitely recommend this, uh, this game because I mean, let's face it, it's got a charming aesthetic. It is extremely fun to play and I think yeah, it's actually in early access. Can you believe that? It's actually in early access right now. I, you know, if you didn't tell me that, or if I didn't look it up just now, I would think that it is not. That's just how polished this game is. So if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description, and it gives... Uh, I, have a, I have a recommendation to give you for this. But, bear in mind, it's still early access, so if you are not someone that wants to you know, be with the game throughout it, the entirety of its development cycle, then probably hold off. But personally, I recommend it. I think it's fun. And I think you can see what it's what it's trying to do. You can see the objective and, and all that sort of thing. So I think it's cool. 
And it's up to you whether you think so too. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.